Neville Longbottom, the wonderful glow up of a wizard, is of course in Harry Potter Magic Awakened as an Echo. And as an Echo, Neville Longbottom will also be supporting your crew by healing your friendly targets. Now, this is based on a percentage of his basic attack, which, when coupled with a time turner, and you have multiple characters out there, will be doubled. So when there are no opponents within your range, that means no ads like no bad guy dragons or anybody spider crawling near you, they will actually be healing the closest friendly unit instead of attacking. So the amount that you heal equals a certain percentage of your attack, further increasing by 75% if the target is not a fellow student. So if you're not in duos, if you're not in a duo dual mode, and you are just running solo and you're trying to summon a lot of creatures, then you are 100% going to be healing your creatures constantly throughout the duration of the battle. Now, the great thing about Neville, again, like I said, when used with Time Turner means that you're doubling the amount that you heal. Well, how do you make your basic attacks more powerful as a player in Magic Awaken? Well, you have to use the good old buddy Kevin Turner aka kevin the bookworm aka kevin the god of magic awaken because he will increase your basic attack strength so what you want to do in regards to neville and running a neville echo based deck is put kevin in your first slot and make sure that you've got him there okay so when you have kevin there you run around with your primary attack if you get kevin out early and a time turner out early and you are doing damage against any of your foe's summons or your foe themselves any of that stuff is going to be added to the bonuses you receive from kevin and once you max that out you are going to be throwing around health like a freaking travel nurse i don't know you're going to be able to heal things like norwegian ridgeback the whomping willow unicorns will be popping up super fast anything that you have in place like a harry potter companion card that might be you know kind of helping protect you over time uh, acromantula nests literally anything that you can think of anything that you can think of that is going to be in need of heals uh nifflers are a great example of this as well to be able to perpetuate the amount of mana that you're getting throughout the game uh, blast ended scroots thunderbirds when those cards drop all of those wonderful wonderful things that will help protect you will then in turn continue to stay on the field you'll be able to get more creatures out and essentially what this becomes is a little bit of a slower new scamander deck okay so you're going to be more support than you are attack you're not going to be able to spam creatures as often but when you can drop a creature in there they're going to be able to survive for a significant amount of time neville is one of my favorite cards to use or echoes rather to use inside of duos if you have a partner who is really able to uh, be the aggressor um, Neville with a Bellatrix deck can actually be pretty good. Uh, Neville with a Luna deck can also be really good because what Neville does is he, you know, runs around and provides support and, and is doing things more passively than necessarily just like running out there and dropping a bunch of spawns and using a ton of spells and all that kind of stuff. So definitely check out Neville Longbottom's Echo when uh, Harry Potter Magic Awaken drops because he will become one of your favorites. I freaking promise you. Inside PvP, inside the Forbidden Forest, he's good all around. Uh, definitely shines more in duo mode, but check out Neville Longbottom. You won't regret it. And make sure you also check out the rest of this playlist. If you have questions about any of the Echoes, please, please, please drop comments down below because I love to answer them. I love to talk to you guys. And I would love to see you in the next video. So make sure you like and subscribe before you head out if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Until next time, peace.